Highland Copper is rehabilitating wetlands near the Porcupine Mountains after drilling operations damage protected land. Rehabilitation is expected to be done by the end of August, but the area was only determined to be a wetland after they began drilling. TV6's David Jackson reports. Highland Copper continues to research the viability of opening a copper mine outside Wakefield. The company began exploratory drilling last winter in several places, including inside the Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park. In compliance with their agreement with the DNR, drilling stopped on public land when the ground began to thaw. We were happy with the way that they handled the site. Uh, we had specific uh, considerations that we helped uh, develop with Highland and they worked very closely with us. They continued to drill on their own nearby land and after finishing in the state park, applied for permits with the Gogebic County Road Commission to continue exploratory drilling along CR 519. To keep their machines off the road, they used old snowmobile trails to move their tracked equipment into place, but their efforts to limit their impact on the area were not completely effective. So we, as I said earlier, admittedly, we made a mistake. We stayed drilling too long and now we are repairing that mistake. To ensure they made as little impact as possible to public land, Highland officials say they hired consultants King and McGregor to study the land. The consultants then determined part of the property could be classified as protected land after they began drilling. So of the total disturbed area in the trail and the drill sites, there's 3.4 acres, 1.9 acres of that is wetland. This had not been mapped, essentially, and we did not interpret this as wetland. So myself as a geologist, I could not tell you what is wet and what is not wet. Once the land was classified to be wetlands by King and McGregor, drilling was halted and rehabilitation began. Opening the mine is not guaranteed. However, from studying the core samples already extracted, Highland officials say the results have been positive. In Wakefield, I'm David Jackson for TV6 News.